So now we can go ahead and start installing or having our React application basic structure on our machine. To do that, we can use um, a package called create React app. Uh, we can call that package from npx create React app. And then the name of the application, I will call it React app to do. And then uh, we need to use TypeScript along with our application. Uh, to use that, we need to use a template flag and then TypeScript. Hit enter, that will start installing the basic structure from Create React app. And basically, maybe you will be asked to install Create React app package. Just go ahead and install it on your machine. And also, uh, I would like to say that Create React app is like a helpful uh, package, like a task runner uh, to build and have your basic structure of your of React application. But it is not the only method. Uh, you can have your basic structure of your React, make it uh, up and running, uh, install Babel JS, uh, the compiler, and then the uh, yeah, the basic uh, other dependencies like Webpack, you can have your own structure of uh, and, and configuration of um, of those packages and those dependencies, and then you can have your own um, basic React application. So what I like to say, uh, create React app. It's not the only way to create your application. Also, there's other uh, new task runners. Um, maybe we'll uh, take a look on them. Uh, in another video, but for now, uh, after installing and having our basic structure of the application, everything is fine. It should not take more than a few minutes, depending on your on your um, internet connection. So, what uh, would like to do? I would like to open the uh, project inside VS Code, um, create uh, create app or React app to do. This is. So now after we have our basic uh, project structure, we can go ahead and uh, work or launch our project um, server. To do that, we need to open the terminal. Uh, and of course, in VS Code, you can use the VS Code internal terminal uh, to open the terminal from terminal, a uh, new terminal that will open the terminal layer inside VS Code. But I would prefer using the um, my uh, Ubuntu terminal. It, you can use your own, but I would like to separate things uh, from the uh, text editor. So I can see the changes of any error uh, on the external terminal. Uh, but anyway, to run the uh, server, uh, let's make sure that we are inside, uh, inside the directory of our project. And then we can run npm start. That will start the script, the uh, uh, the server script and browser. Then it will load the default uh, the default page from Create React app. Uh, so let's take a look on on this and where this is coming from. So basically in site source, this is the basic directory. This is where uh, we make um, almost all our logic of the application. So we have the uh, index. We'll uh, speak or talk about this in a minute, but the basic, uh, basic project uh, file is the app component. Uh, all the logic will go from this from this point. So basically, um, we have inside this page, we have this. Uh, this this is the logic that represents this page. So uh, we have the image right here, which is this one, and we have the text in here, and that is uh, this text here, and we have a link. And you can see that all the log logic is coming from here. So we can make some cleaning. If you make like uh, hello world text and save, that will 
that will be uh, auto reload the server and auto reload the auto render the page. Um, so you can see that all the logic is coming from this parent component, let's say entry component, uh, which is the app JS. So basically, um, to know the logic and how things work in React, um, I will ex explain the index uh, file. So this is the um, entry for uh, for the project. So when the server is running, it will go to the source and look into the index file. Basically, uh, the index file, uh, if you can see here, uh, it's calling this React DOM method. Um, React DOM object, and this React DOM is coming from React DOM library. Inside it, we call um, a render render method. This render method will render, or let's say, the load. This will load this component, which is the app component, which is the component coming from this uh, from this app from here from this file. So basically, uh, we are loading this component or rendering this component inside the root, uh, inside document get element, and the root um, uh, root component. This root component is fetching. This is inside the um, doc inside the uh, HTML page. So the HTML page is you can find it inside public inside index.html. This is the basic static structure of the page of our application. So inside here, you can check that we have the root component with the ID of root. This is what uh, where we are rendering uh, the app component. So you can think of that, that we have the basic, basic structure, static structure of the component, which is this HTML page, and all the logic is going inside this root component. So basically, this is this is how things work in React. Um, um, in most cases, let's say 90-90 percent, you wouldn't change anything in this uh, in this in this file, this index HTML. But just to uh, understand how things work, uh, so as I mentioned, it will render the app inside the roots, and that will load and render the our application. So um, as you see, we have the app as an entry uh, entry component. Uh, we can make some cleaning. So let's delete this. And we don't need logo here. So we can delete them from here. Uh, also, we have app.css, which is the basic C um, app uh, CSS uh, properties. It, we can delete them. We will use our own uh, custom CSS, and we have the index with uh, sorry index.css, which is the basic structure, or let's say the basic CSS uh, is being used in the page. Also, we can go ahead and delete them. Um, so we are starting on clean slate. Uh, also, we in the Create React app, you, it will come with uh, tests. Uh, files so you can go ahead and delete them test for for jest or for uh, any react uh, test libraries uh, basically it will make uh, something called automated test um, maybe we can make a separated uh, it's a big field uh, maybe we can make uh, a separate series about about uh, react testing. But for now, we can go ahead. Uh, of course, we can delete them, and set up test deletes. Um, yes, so we can just start from this point and let's make sure that everything is working fine. So from this point, everything looks uh, working good. Uh, so in the next video, uh, I will start uh, building the application and the ba basic structure of our of our to do uh, application. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next.